pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. At the beginning of the season, when uh, spring hits, the weather's warming, the days are longer, and there's lots of nectar coming in, and particularly lots of pollen coming in. That's when the bees prepare to swarm, and swarming's about reproduction. So they start making new queen cells. Before the first new queen emerges out, the old queen leaves with 70% of the population. It's cool. So once that queen's in there, they're happy to stay in there with us. Yes, they're completely doomed without the queen at this stage. This is when the queen's the most important bee in the colony, when they're swarming like this, because without her, there's no one to lay eggs and rebuild the population. It's quite different once you've got an established hive, because if they can access eggs or young larvae, they can make a new queen. This is on the larger side not the hugest swarm but it's unlikely to be a secondary swarm this I would say is a primary swarm which is the first swarm that's come out of the hive wherever this hive is for the season the biggest swarms of the season are primary swarms 